Yo, we back once again, and I found the ultimate legend of 2020. You know, there's some dudes out there undertaking the challenge of not busting a nut for a long time, trying to see how long they can go without doing it. But then there's this guy, bro, who decided to take the challenge to another level. He decided that he was going to log every single day and every single time that he busted a nut for the entire year of 2020, bro. And the amount of nuts that this dude managed to bust will surprise you. This dude managed to bust a grand total of 681 nuts in a year. Bro, that is godlike numbers. Like you've got to be busting gallons of nut with the numbers that this dude's reaching. Bro, 681 nuts in a year. That's an average of 1.86 nuts a day. That's almost two nuts per day. Like, how do you manage to do that, bro? I gotta respect you because that's some next level stuff. And that's just the average amount of nuts that this guy is busting a day. You know, some days he could bust even more. Like one day in March, okay, so he has a little graph right here that shows like the amount of nuts he's busted each month. And bro, one day in March, this dude managed to bust seven nuts total for the day. Like bro, seven nuts! Seven nuts! At that point, does it even feel good anymore? Like, I don't even know if that's even pleasurable at that point. Like, the most I've ever done was two. I think I might have done three one time. I can't actually remember. I've definitely done two in a day before, but I'm trying to remember if I ever did three. I might have done three once when I was younger, back when I just started to jerk off. Like, when I was learning the arts, when I unlocked the, the jerk off skill. So I might have done it three, like, one time. But even two, bro, feels like too much. Usually, after the first nut, that's when the post-nut clarity kicks in, and you kind of just sit there and contemplate your life for a bit, and then you regret busting the nut and decide to get on with your day. That's usually the point when you're able to realize that you should stop. So going on to the second nut, that one's hard, bro. Like, I don't know how people do that. Like, I remember one time, I was, like, feeling really horny, and I was watching the jerk-off instruction videos, bro. One of the videos was, like, I'll make you bust two nuts or some shit. <laughs> So I was going in like, yo, I'm going to bust two nuts. So I bust the first nut and then, then the girl's like, yo, okay, you're going to bust the second time. And then I was like, hell no, bro, I'm done. Like after that second nut, the post nut clarity kicked in and I realized, okay, bro, I'm watching this jerk off instruction video. I busted once. I'm supposed to bust the second time. But now I'm like sane enough to understand that that's insane. So then I click off the video and I, I just went on, went to sleep. That shit's normal, bro. Afterwards, you should realize... If you could process that, two nuts is bad. How's this guy doing seven, bro? Like, this is next level nut busting. Like, at that point, your dick must start to hurt, right? I feel like after seven, the skin's gonna start to, like, get all rashy. It might shred off or something. I'm uncircumcised, so I still got the foreskin. So, if I was to go for seven, maybe, like, I would circumcise myself, possibly, because of the friction that's taking place. Like, his dick must be swollen after that. There's no way that it doesn't get swollen after seven. Unless he's the type to just bust instantly. But then you got the recharge period, so you gotta like wait a bit. I just don't see how this guy has the time to do that. Like, I've gotten my penis swollen before. I remember trying to masturbate in the shower one time, which I usually don't do, because I gotta be laying down in order to feel the most comfortable. So doing it in the shower, this was unexplored territory for me. And usually I nut super quick, right? But in the shower, I felt like it was very difficult. Nearly impossible to nut. Maybe because I was not used to the standing up position since I always lie down. So it was also very distracting with the water splashing on my back and shit. So because of this, I was going quite ham for quite a long time as well. And it got to the point where my dick was swollen. And it was swollen for the entire day, bro. I was freaking out afterwards because I was worried that it was going to be permanently messed up. Like, yo, imagine if it was permanently messed up. I would have to go to the doctor and shit. I would have to explain everything to the doctor. And it'll be so embarrassing, bro. So luckily that did not happen. But anyways, if I could get swollen from just one session, bro, one nut session, this dude is definitely damaging his penis going seven times a day, bro. I mean, I know he did it one day, seven times, but like still, he's had some days he went five, some days he went four. And this is over a long period of time. Like this is a, a year, 681 times in a year. So you know that there's the damage going on. And he only has like a few hours to recover before he starts beating his shit again. I feel like this challenge, whatever this guy did, is worse than NoFap, bro. 
you guys probably know about the destroy dick december challenge where you you bust a nut for the day and then on the second day of the month you bust two third day of the month you bust three like i heard of a story of some dude attempting that challenge and he died i'm not sure what day he died but he busted too many nuts that he had a heart attack or something like that that challenge is deadly bro that one seems way harder than No Nut November. I'd rather never nut again than attempt the Destroy Dick December challenge. That shit is horrible. Nutting 30 times in one day, bro. Holy shit, that'll be torture. I think that the perfect amount is to do it once a week. And I like to wait a week because then you get to bust like the fattest nut of all time. It's kind of like charging up your superpower. The longer you wait between each time, the bigger the nut is going to be. It also feels a lot better. The only issue is... You feel like you're going to nut after like three strokes in. But looking at this Reddit post though, the guys seem to be going at the same pace throughout the year, except for a little spike in March where he managed to bust 80 nuts for that month. Holy moly, bro. That's like 2.6, 2.7 nuts a month. I guess that was the start of quarantine. So that kind of makes sense to why he went the most ham during that period. But homie, I, I respect you for running this scientific research for us all. Okay, your sacrifice will go down in honor, but I think you should lay it off, bro. Just chill out with the nuts you be busting, bro. Like, it can be good for you, man. But anyways, homies, make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't. I'm out of here, homie. Peace. Nice work, bitch! <laughs> <laughs>